This video explains how to complete the tax year in Sage Payroll. First, check that you've installed the year-end update. To do this, log into your payroll, then at the top of the screen, check that the version number has updated to the version displayed here, and that it shows PYE ready. If you've not yet installed the update, to download the automatic update, click Help and then Check for Updates. If you prefer to download the update manually, you can visit our Help Centre at sage.ie slash PYE. Next, check if you have an extra pay period. Extra pay periods only apply to weekly, fortnightly or four weekly paid employees. If your regular pay date falls on the 31st of December, or in a leap year, the 30th or 31st of December. You can check your payroll calendar to confirm if you have an extra pay period. From Company Payroll, click Calendar. Then scroll down to check your last period of the year. In this example, the last pay date is in period 52. So in this case, we don't have an extra pay period. If you have an extra pay period, Simply process this period as usual, and tax and USC calculates on a week one basis in line with revenue guidance. You can now process your final pay periods of the tax year. You must complete your payroll for all pay dates in the tax year before running any year end reports. To confirm you've done this, check the period number and period date shows your final pay date of the year and the status is at end of period. You can now print your Employment Detail Summary Report. To run the report, click Year End, Tax, then Tax Year End Reports. Select Employment Detail Summary and choose whether to include levers. To view the report, click Preview. Then, to print a copy for your employees, click Print. Or, to save the reports for your records, click Export. Note that this report is for reference purposes only. Employees can get their official end-of-year statement and employment detail summary by logging in to My Account on the Revenue website. When you've finished, close the preview. Then, to close the year-end reports, click Cancel. You should now run Validate Payroll Data and complete any housekeeping tasks. And then you're ready to set up the new tax year.